this right turn up here is a pretty direct 90 degree angle. And let's see how much I have to turn the steering wheel. Almost 360 degrees to make that right corner precisely in my position. Hey, this is Jacqueline, and I'm happy to be back as your driving teacher today. Today we're gonna to spend some time thinking about how to steer properly. And we're gonna talk about our arm position so that we can hold the steering wheel and steer properly. We're gonna be talking about how we move our hands to rotate the wheel. And we're gonna be talking about how we let the steering wheel do its own work and return back to center. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how to position your chair so that you're super comfortable. If you were too close to the steering wheel, like this, it would be hard for you to move the steering wheel because your arms would feel really tight and bound. And if you're too far away from the steering wheel, then you feel like you have to really stretch to make any movements and that could feel weird too. So I want to encourage you to find that sweet spot where you're close enough that you can hold on to the steering wheel comfortably at nine and three. There's a slight bend in your elbow. It might be a little bit more than 90 degrees, but just make sure that you're comfortable. When we're thinking about steering, the first thing I want you to think about is having your hands on the steering wheel at nine and three. And you can think about the steering wheel like a clock, nine o'clock, three o'clock, 12 o'clock, and six o'clock. An important thing is to always try to keep your elbows hanging down, your thumbs up. You don't wanna get your hands twisted down at the bottom of the wheel, nor up at the top of the wheel. If you find yourself with your elbows up, you're not turning properly. Instead, you should be able to turn the wheel super smooth, keeping your elbows down and your thumbs up. Or you might do a more powerful turning move, turning and pulling and holding. An important part of steering is letting the steering wheel come back to home. If you're studying for your permit or learning to drive, I recommend that you check out Zootobi.com. They have an amazing app with tons of DMV practice tests to help prepare you for your permit test. It goes through everything you need to know in detail and has hundreds of illustrations to make it easier to understand and remember the information. With more than 100,000 ratings, Zootobi is one of the most widely used driver's ed resources in the US and a must have for learners. Check it out and see for yourself. So the first important thing for you to think about is how you don't have to do much steering when you want to go straight. You might, because of the curve in a road and the way the road is designed, have to slightly guide the steering wheel to the left or the right. Imagine if there's a pothole or if your road is on a hill and there's a slight decline to one side or the other. In that case, you're doing guiding, not necessarily too much work. So just think about it as being relaxed and letting the car guide you forward and let the steering wheel do its work. But if you're going to make any curves in the road or any turns, you're gonna to have to learn just exactly how much you wanna turn the steering wheel. So to talk about how much to turn the steering wheel, I wanna think about the steering wheel in two different ways. First, I wanna think about it as a circle, 360 degrees. There are times when you might turn the steering wheel 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. There are other times where you might turn the steering wheel 180 degrees to the left or 180 degrees to the right. And then there are times when you might turn the steering wheel 360 degrees to the left or 360 degrees to the right. That sounds a little technical when we're sitting on the side of the road or you're sitting at home thinking about driving. 
But once you get out on the road and you realize that each corner is going to have its own unique angle and that you're going to have to get to know your steering wheel to know how much you should turn, you're going to realize that it really is important to know. Sometimes you'll do a little bit of a turn. Sometimes you'll do a lot. Sometimes you'll do more. Let's see how that looks when we're out on the road. Another important thing to think about is how our steering wheel and our tires are designed to go straight. So we hardly have to hold the wheel. We can just gently guide the wheel unless we're making a turn. Then we have to match the rotation of our steering turn with the curve of the road so that we can steer just enough, but not too much. If we oversteer, we risk bumping into a parked car or accidentally, if we go too wide, blocking oncoming traffic. So we wanna be really precise with the amount of steering that we do with our wheel, holding just long enough to get around our curves and then straightening back up to continue going forward. One of the common challenges that I see with new drivers when they get nervous is that they have a tendency to scrunch up their shoulders and tighten their grip on the steering wheel. And that actually creates an unnecessary tension with the steering wheel and can create a kind of wobbly feeling. So if you find yourself tensed up and your shoulders tensed up and your elbows tensed up, try to just sit back in the seat Think about how your shoulder blades should be resting gently on the back of the seat. Your elbows should be hanging down comfortably and you should just be lightly holding the steering wheel. This right turn up here is a pretty direct 90 degree angle. And let's see how much I have to turn the steering wheel. Almost 360 degrees to make that right corner precisely in my position. This left turn is also 90 degrees. Let's see how much I have to turn the wheel to make a really good 90 degree left turn here. I'm always gonna start with my right hand on the left turn, pushing, pulling, and holding. And that was about 270 degrees, about three quarters of a turn of the steering wheel. For this right turn, I'm going to hold the steering wheel to the right and then turn just a little bit more as I finish my turn before gently releasing so that the steering wheel can go straight again. Again, I'm using the design of the car, which wants to go straight. I'm making the slightest curves that are necessary to get me around the corner. And I'm letting the steering wheel return back to center, which is a really important part of steering. Understanding that the steering wheel wants to go back to center and the steering wheel connected to the tires wants to go back to its straight position. The dotted lines on the ground ahead of me and the stamps are gonna help me so that when I'm guiding my steering, I really have some focus on where I need to end up and that's helpful. Remember that you're not in this alone. The traffic engineers have done a lot of work to paint the roads to help line up your uh, your tires and just help you take the guesswork out of how much you have to steer. And all along this road, I'm tracking the yellow line to the left. I'm guiding the wheel so that I stay centered above the stamps. And I'm steering just enough making the slightest rotation of my wheel 
to make the slightest curve of my wheels. Now, if you get the chance to drive an older car where the steering isn't as smooth, of course you're gonna have to do more work. It might take a little bit more muscle power to get the steering wheel to turn, but you'll use the same idea and understanding about the steering wheel as a circle, thinking about the degrees of turn that match the road conditions, and also think about your guiding hands sitting in the nine and three o'clock position. And now we are going to turn into a parking spot. And I hope that you feel a little bit more comfortable thinking about the steering wheel as a 360 degree circle or as a clock, understanding that every movement has to be precise and match the requirements of the turn you're gonna take. And remember that you wanna keep your elbows down and your thumbs up as you turn the wheel so that when you release the wheel back to center, you can be ready to continue going straight. Thanks a lot. Have a great rest of the day.